Bruce Bauman with We Are Change Colorado here. Back again behind the microphone with another amazing human being, John Bush here, on the Bitcoin.com bus tour, the Dash Across America tour, promoting local currencies with the idea that they are going to be going across America without using Federal Reserve notes. Tell us a little about what inspired this journey that you're on with your two children and your wife, Catherine Bleich. Uh, well, this is the fourth tour that we've gone across the country using uh, Bitcoin only. This time we decided to add some other cryptocurrencies like Dash, uh, Digital Cash. And we're basically traveling around, meeting up with uh, cryptocurrency enthusiasts, liberty activists, and we're sharing with them the joys and value of decentralized technology and we're encouraging people to uh, adopt this kind of stuff in their everyday life. We're also reaching out to the general public and having a lot of conversations. So you're getting people to open up Bitcoin wallets, to open up uh, different ways to trade energy. It's an amazing way to uh, get outside of the Federal Reserve System, the only legal tender that, that's said to be legal to use to trade now. Uh, now you said it's not your first time, and this is not anything new for activism for you. You've been, uh, you've been around for a while, uh, a partner, you and your wife, a partner of Brave New Books in Austin, Texas. Tell us a little bit about that bookstore. Uh, we've been around for 10 years, coming up at the end of this month, and really we sell underground, anti-establishment, anti-government literature. People are like, it's an anti-government bookstore. We're like, yeah, it kind of is. But it's also pro-liberty. Uh, we sell a lot of natural health products, and we host a lot of really uh, amazing events, and really it's a, a community space. We have a great online store, too, at bravenewbookstore.com, and we accept Bitcoin and Dash. Nice. Yeah. So support them. Check out the bookstore and uh, support. Th they do a lot of different talks. John does talks on sovereignty. Catherine does talks on unschooling children. And they're living their truth by taking their home on the road. Tell us a little about uh, what inspired you to go and live in uh, a tiny home on wheels. Well, the bus was gifted to us by a family up in New Hampshire. And they were a family of unschoolers, too. And they traveled across the country in it for three and a half years, the Holidorson family. And back then, it was the unschool bus. And they gifted it to us about a year and a half ago. And uh, we remodeled it. We were living in it. It was pretty rough for a while. But uh, more recently, we decided to do this latest tour. And we were able to bring a bunch of sponsors on board. And we upgraded the bus. We painted the outside. We got wood floor going. and. Um, a new composting toilet which is really nice so it's basically our home and it's also like a mobile outreach and promotional automobile nice um tell us i guess let's let's kind of wander to the back and uh while we're w wandering back here uh if you could tell us what are some of your favorite activists from around the nation just let's act like that our viewer doesn't know anyone in the in the nation uh like who are some people that you've throughout your travels that you would like to interconnect between our uh you know our people well i'm a big fan of derek bros I love you derek uh he's a good friend of mine out of houston and he's done a lot of work um along with myself and a bunch of other people now to promote decentralized peer-to-peer -peer mutual aid groups to one day replace the hierarchical institution of government which is forced upon people and it's zero-sum game but uh, we can build alternative societies and I think it'll grow in favor in the minds of the masses we just got to be the first folks to try it out and Derek's been doing a lot to push that idea and promote that idea and he adds a whole level of uh, spirituality to it with the conscious resistance and the idea that if we don't first do the self work and then we have a stateless society it's just gonna be a bunch of assholes it's gonna turn into a state or maybe even something worse so I'm a big fan of Derek bros I've always appreciated Adam Kokesh too because he puts his uh, his money where his mouth is, puts his body where his mouth is, and he's real consistent, great communicator of the philosophy of liberty. Nice, well those are awesome uh, awesome humans that we've worked with in the past, and, and we hope to work with in the future. Adam's actually gonna be in town uh, this upcoming Tuesday. We got a big week upcoming. We got, uh, we, are, we are Change Open Mic with Elias Clay coming up next Monday night. We do open mics every last Monday. So for everyone out here, you know, if you haven't ever been to Colorado and check out what We Are Change Colorado is up to, we've been happy enough to be uh, you know, linked up together through the interwebs between some awesome people, thanks to Kenny and, and to Jay and the people at Jackalope for the creating connections that have brought us all together here. And, uh, you know, it's kind of fun to finally link with people who you've heard about, who you've seen and known of, but to finally, you know, get to meet and shake hands and, uh, you know, get to meet the kids and whatnot. It's, it's, it's been pretty fun. It's all coming together right here now. It's all coming. 
Thanks for watching these videos uh, on the We Are Change Colorado channel. We got tons of videos. Check on over to the main channel, We Are Change channel too as well. Tons more videos on there. So much work to be done, and let's just keep lifting each other up. Let's keep shining light on the people that are doing amazing work, and let's keep doing it. Let's keep living our truth. I really appreciate people who are actually doing things and uh, not just talking about it. So thanks for doing it, and uh, thanks for joining us. Thanks, guys.